Hey guys, so I'm at a Bass Pro Shop you're going to grab some stuff because uh, somebody asked me a question about what type of hooks do I use for when I'm fishing for sheep's head. So in this video, I'm going to show you the three different types of hooks that I use. So take a little trip with me into the Bass Pro Shop. Say hi. Hello, everybody watching out there. So we're going to go in here and try to grab a couple of things real quick and then I'll get back to showing you what I use. All right. Okay guys, so the question was what type of hooks do I use uh, when I'm fishing for sheep's head and I'm using live bait. So I have these laid out here. These are my three go-to that I have. On the left, I have just regular um, live bait hooks. I'll get specific with each one. In the middle, I have a sheep's head jig. You see it's, it has like a little football head shape. And then this one is a bottom sweeper jig. And I'm gonna explain each one and when I use it and the advantages and disadvantages uh, about each one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start over on the left over here so that way I can explain why. So all three of these are a size one, not a one-aught, but a one hook. On the left is a Gamagatsu live bait hook. In the middle, I have uh, a Gamagatsu circle hook. And on the right is an owner live bait hook, a J hook. So if you can see that each one of them are different size, but they're all a size one. The thing I like about the live bait hooks from Owner and Gamagatsu, they are much thicker than the circle hook. And what I've found, I have actually hooked up more with these live bait hooks than I have with the circle hooks. And circle hooks are usually pretty good when you're you know, fishing with live bait with, and I'm using shrimp and fiddler crabs or any type of crabs that I can catch. But they don't stay on as well and with the fiddler crabs with the circle hooks. I have found that I've missed more fish with circle hooks than I have any other hook. So that's my least uh, preferred method. Now, if I'm using shrimp and a, uh, free lining, I'll sometimes go to a circle hook if I'm catching more than just sheep's head. If I'm catching snapper or mackerel or something like that, I'm going to use a circle hook because I can get a, a good hook set. But if I'm just fishing straight up and down, normally I'm using one of the two, uh, either the Gamagatsu, which is here on the left, or the owner hooks on the right. And if I'm using just this, I'm no, more than likely going to free line. And what I'm doing I'm going to have on my free line, I'm going to have a split shot. And when I have my split shot, if you notice my where my finger is, how I judge my finger and I have down to the bottom of my palm of my hand is where I put my split shot. That's about six inches. So that's about as far as I normally have it. And this is a size one uh, split shot. So I don't go any heavier than that if I'm free lining, whether with shrimp, or crabs. So that's my first one. My second one is the sheep's head jig. These are pretty neat. Uh, they sit really well and the disadvantage as you can see sometimes that hook gets caught around on the the back side of the hook or the uh, the keeper and sometimes it'll float up and get hooked on the line here as well. So if it's sitting like this and I have my crab or my shrimp on there, it'll sitting like this and the fish are just pecking my bait off. But these are pretty good when they work, when they're just flat out like this. Uh, this allows the, the crab or the shrimp to move around a little bit more, but you can still get a good hook set. And these sit on the bottom just like this and more than likely your crab will be sitting up here in your shrimp as well. So these are pretty good. But right now my favorite 
that I'm using are the bottom sweeper jigs. And with these two here, let me back up a little bit. So with my live bait hooks and my sheep's head rig jig, I'm using just a straight polymer knot to tie these onto my line, to my leader. And I'm usually using about a 20 or a 15 pound leader. But with my uh, bottom sweeper jig, I'm using a loop knot because I want that to, you know, to be kind of loose on there. Kind of like the sheep's head jig is. It allows that movement for that crab or for that shrimp. But the thing I like about this bottom sweeper jig is that no matter where I drop it, the hook always stays up. So I can let this fall and it's gonna stand up just like that every single time, no matter if there's rocks or anything down there. And this is a half ounce and all of the bottom sweeper jigs, the lowest um, size is a one, a one aught hook. So they come in one aught hooks and two aught. So the advantages I love is that it sits up all the time. I don't get hung up very often with these and my hook ratio is pretty good with once I'm, uh, I get a bite. I'm hooking up pretty much most of the time. The disadvantage is I like using size one or size two hooks when I'm fishing for sheep's head around docks and different things like that. But this does work. So right now, this is my, my favorite uh, way of uh, hooking fish, uh, using it as a hook. My second preferred is the free lining with a one hook. And then my third is a bottom sweeper jig, or a correction, um, a sheep's head jig. So these are the three ways that I usually fish. Uh, these are the hooks that I use. So I'm going to leave the description of each one of those in uh, the description here underneath this video. So that way you can you know, purchase them yourself. I'm not sponsored by any of these. By the way, these are just the ones that I prefer. These are what I've gone out and fished with and caught fish with. Hey, so that's going to do it for this video. I uh, hope that helped. If you have any questions or anything like that, or if you have something that's actually better, hit me up below in the description. Let's let's have a little dialogue. Uh, so I like to, to learn as well. I don't know everything about fishing, but I have caught fish and this is what I use to catch fish. So, so subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and also share my videos. So that way uh, other people that might have questions learning about fishing can, can get a little information here. So until the next time we meet again, remember God loves you, God bless you, and may he keep you. Till next time, talk to you later.